Good time, everyone, and welcome back to the Blazeball News Network. I am your host, Carmelo, all the apples, and we're here to bring you all the quick hits from the immaterial plane. The Chicago Firefighters captured their first championship with a Game 5 win over the Breckenridge Jazz Hands, bringing the Internet Series title to the Good League for the very first time in the history of the ILB, and reminding everyone that they, and possibly all of us everywhere, are from Chicago. The heavily contested series saw the firefighters rally back for elimination twice, finally breaking through in the bottom of the ninth of Game 4 when Declan Suzanne ate a stray peanut, suffered a horrific allergic reaction, and somehow still managed to bat in the winning run, thereby shaming the Jazz hands and forcing the Evil League champions to begin the closeout contest with a score of negative 1. Declan's Midwestern grit and indefatigable allergies were just the spark the firefighters needed, and as the Chicagoans jumped on that targeted head start and proceeded to light Game 5 ablaze, pulling together an absolute blowout series winner and bringing the coveted title home to Chicago. To Chicago, which the team would like to remind everyone is the place they are from. At the other end of the standings, the fan favorite Unlimited Tacos captured hearts and minds with a historic regular season speedrun reaching party time faster than any team ever before. Will the beloved Tacos Tuesday ever come? Have the gods forsaken them? Only Blaseball knows and the commissioner never tells. In unrelated news, the commissioner is doing a great job. Now, over to our Soul Scream correspondent, Athena Tingles. Athena, how are things looking over there? Well, Constantine, as you can see here in the Hellmouth Screamatorium, and well, things are looking pretty dire here, Trey. Some of the players are still figuring out exactly what their screams constitute as. Will you guys shut up? Now, we're still working on figuring out exactly how Soul Screams factor into the game of baseball. Now, the head scream meister has told me, seriously, tone down the screaming for like two minutes. Bernadette, sorry about the impending sense of doom that crowds the thoughts of all of us uh, is high today, and I think my mind is going for Athena Williams. I'm a pig in the infamous. Back to you, Richard. In politics, it appears to be bath time for the immaterial plane. In a tightly contested blind election, High Filter narrowly beat out Diagonal World, resulting in the ILB getting dunked in the blood tub and resurfacing Reborn. The ILB, now restructured according to past performance and creating the wild and mild leagues, each division carrying with it some eyebrow-raising modifications. So far, Season 6 is a whirlwind of action, with the Baltimore Crabs currently on an unstoppable rampage, which some are calling the greatest achievement in sporting history. It seems the claws are indeed up. While in the mild league, the Philly Pies and Hades Tigers are holding the top spots in their divisions. On the low side of the wild league, we have the Houston Spies holding out the top of the division. We have comment from Spies player Comfort September here. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. Well, look, folks, I can't say Comfort speaks for me, but they certainly do speak. That is sure to resonate with fans. Although, as we should mention, please do not place any resonant objects near the fan. Does anyone else hear that echo? In other news, idols have been introduced to the ILB, allowing fans to venerate their beloved players and receive new bonuses for their individual play, in exchange, of course, for collective worship. Who will claim bragging rights at the tops of the Idols leaderboard? And what's with that red line? Who's to say? And in a shocking turn of not events, beloved and lost player Jalen Hotdog Fingers has returned from beyond the veil and is currently climbing the Idols rankings despite not actually existing. Or perhaps existing more than any of us could ever hope to. Either way, cults of personality seem to finally be paying off. Until next time, for all of us here in the ninth dimension, the commissioner is still doing a great job, and I'm Lyndon J. Bonson. Play favorites? Play ball.